it's time. From the Personal Liberty Digest Studios, where we're more than just bumps in the road, it's time for this week's Great Eight. And now, speaking of bumpy, Ben Crystal. Four victims, huh? It's some bump there, Mr. President. After weeks of falsely insisting the murders of four Americans in Libya was caused by some crappy movie, Obama is now admitting it was terrorism all along. Asked to explain the flip-flop, Obama said, eh, movies, my administration, what's the difference? It's all written by somebody else. I'm just reading this. Obama's speech to the United Nations included the line, quote, the future must not belong to those who insult the prophet, unquote leading to an awkward moment when the audience realized he was talking about himself. <laughs> Al Salami sandwich there, Barry. <laughs> Following the disasters of the last couple of weeks, Obama has deployed Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to meet with foreign dignitaries. According to insiders, she's the only one with big enough stones to handle the job. <laughs> it's a man's world. That's why we got her. <laughs> As the Obama campaign spirals out of control, a familiar face has returned. Stalinist billionaire George Soros has announced a $1 million donation to pro-Obama hate group Priorities USA. You better get it together, Democrat Party. Daddy's home. <laughs> With the announcement that former TV sidekick Jason Alexander is campaigning for Obama, the election is shaping up to be a real battle of the corporate heavyweights, Bain Capital versus Vandalay Industries. <laughs> Importers and exporters of fine latex products. <laughs> Following Ann Romney's appearance on Jay Leno, liberals unleashed a new attack with one Democrat calling her leather outfit, quote, slutty, unquote. Hey, at least she paid for it with her own money. She didn't get it in the uh, junior misses section either. I don't think that's your son. I don't think that's her son. I don't think that's anybody's son. <laughs> Meanwhile, Obama sat down with the gals on The View, at one point describing himself as, quote, eye candy, unquote. White chocolate. Mm. After further review, the call on the field stands. Home run, Queens Park Rangers. <laughs> and that's your grade eight for the week, kitties, for the Personal Liberty Digest. I'm Ben Crystal saying we love us and be alone.